Morning all. Now today's one day project is to get this I squared C OLED to uh, come up with something on the display when connected to this uh, clone Arduino Uno. This is the one with the CH340 USB to serial chip. So I've got these two. I've got uh, a four way uh, DuPont connector wire and I've got the USB lead that came with the Arduino Uno. Now this has come about because uh, in my post bag 10 I featured the uh, OLED, there it is at the end, and uh, who was it, Lagman said, that OLED screen is really cheap, please tell us quickly if it's good so that I can order it. And my reply was, I don't think I can get this up and running quickly, but at £3.77 it's worth a punt. Well perhaps I can get it up and running quickly. Now in addition, Curty Curty says, if you read these three links, It'll only take 15 minutes to get it to work. Well, OK, I'm not going to take the 15 minute challenge, but let's see how long it does take. And uh, Joe Fraser, and I may not have pronounced that right. Uh, Joe Fraser says it looks like it's an SD1306, uh, SSD1306, that's right. If it is, you can use the Adafruit library, which is there on GitHub. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've just done uh, a generic search for SSD1306. The first thing that comes up is a Adafruit PDF for the datasheet. That's great. Some images. But the third thing is the GitHub uh, library that Adafruit have put up. So that looks promising. So here I am on GitHub. Now, I don't really know how GitHub works, but I know that if I press that button, I can see all the files. And there is indeed uh, an example SSD 1306, 128 by 64 I squared C, the third one down. So that looks like the one I want to use. But I think the place to start is, oh, it's not on this page. Let me just go back, is uh, with the download zip button. So here it is on my desktop, uh, taken out of its zip folder. Let's open that up. And we have um, the H file, the CPP file, and an examples folder. And in there, we've got the four examples. And as I say, I want this one, 12864 I squared C. So open up Arduino IDE and under sketch, import library, add library, um, desktop it's on, and there's the library. So let's open that. Now I'm getting an error. It says the library Adafruit master cannot be used. Let's see what the error is. And it says the name must contain only basic letters and numbers. Now I don't remember happening this uh, this happening before I upgraded to Arduino 156 for the Yun. And this is beta uh, software. So I'm just going to rename the library folder. So once again, add library, uh, desktop. There's my shorter name. Let's open that. Library added to your libraries. Excellent. So now if I look at examples and then right down the bottom, we've got the Adafruit SSD 1306 and that shows the four examples. So let's bring in the third one down. So here it is. It's the 12864i squared C. Let's just see if it verifies. Uh, no, we're getting an error. What's that? Uh, has no member named Phil Circle. Hmm, that's a problem. Well, that's almost certainly because I don't have Adafruit underscore GFX uh, installed, so I better go and try and find that. Um, well, a quick search, and I found that's also here on GitHub. There it is, Adafruit GFX. So I'm going to install that library now. So there's my downloaded uh, library folder. Now I had the same problem with the name, so I just shortened it to Adafruit GFX. And now if I verify. That looks far more promising. Okay, so that succeeded. So I think we're there with the software now. Now we can get on to the interesting bit, the electronics. So let's plug in my Arduino Uno. Uh, now I'm also going to connect this um, header wire to, which way shall I do it? Ground black, that probably makes the most sense. So let's do it that way around. So those are the four wires on there. So ground is black, uh, VCC is white, and then SCL 
and SDA. Let's plug that into the Uno. So I've just come back to the eBay listing for a moment because I wanted to just check that this thing will run at 5 volts. Some of them they say 3 volts. Well this says 3 to 5 volts. So we'll trust the seller and plug 5 volts into it. Let's see what happens. So that's it wired up. I've got black to ground and white to 5 volts. Uh, grey to SCL and purple to SDA. Now I am anticipating some problems because I can't see on the back of this thing the pull-up resistors that uh, I squared C requires on clock and data and also the address uh, link there, the zero ohm resistor, is set to zero. Now does that mean address zero? Well I guess we'll find out. So let's go for it. Tools, board, Arduino, Uno, tools, port, COM5, upload, upload. So it all compiled OK and it uploaded and guess what? It doesn't work. And it's not really surprising because I think it firstly is this address thing. So let's look at this. Now there are no defines in this Adafruit code for the I squared C address. But if you scroll down a bit, um, where it does a display begin, it's got SSD 1306 switch APVCC, not sure what that means. And there's the OX3D address where it says initialize with I squared C address uh, OX3D. Well, my address appears to be zero, so I'm just going to shove a zero in there and see what happens. So there's my zero, and guess what? It still doesn't work. Uh, right, so it's a bit bodgy, but I've put in a couple of 10k pull-ups. Um, I don't think the pull-up resistors are that fussy, so uh, 10k resistors were to hand. Um, but still nothing. So that's the 15 minutes out of the water. I'm a bit stumped. I'm going to have to have a bit of a think now. So I've been looking around and I found this which says uh, OLED I squared C display compatible with the Adafruit graphics library with a small change of the address from OX3D to OX3C. So I thought well that's worth a try. So what happened when I tried that? This. So it's working and it's going through a whole set of sort of graphical elements, rectangles, circles. Let's get in a bit closer. Let's just reset the board. So it runs through the thing again. One pixel, some lines. I get this to focus. Rectangles, circles, thin line circles, uh, round cornered rectangle, thicker line version of the above, triangles, and text, that's what we really want to see, some scrolling. <laughs> and then it seems to end the sequence with the falling stars. So that's it. That works. Um, probably went a little bit over 15 minutes, more like half an hour, I guess. But I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, so this is the item I bought. It is a 0.96 inch I squared C 128 by 64 OLED, £3.77 free postage. I got it from OK Cat Fair. Now the old man KK says that you can get it cheaper from Banggood, um, $5.26. So let's check that out. So here it is. Uh, today it appears to be $5.39. Doesn't say white in the description. Uh, in the title but it does further down. Uh, let's just switch that to pounds. 
So yes, it is cheaper than £3.77. It's £3.23 on Banggood. And uh, even on Banggood it says, if you decide to buy OLED display, you must confirm that you can make it work by yourself. Well, you can now. <laughs>